So, you grab this little mushroom, pop it in your mouth, and suddenly the world starts melting right in front of you. But not just any mushroom will do that. The trippy ones belong to a specific group called psilocybe, which, conveniently, you can find pretty much everywhere. These shrooms contain a chemical, the magic ingredient that messes with your brain. It's made through a bunch of chemical steps, basically turning a normal amino acid into psilocybin. Scientists aren't exactly sure why shrooms even have psilocybin, but it's probably to keep bugs from eating them, or just some random evolutionary accident. Now, to understand how shrooms mess with your head, you gotta know how your brain normally works. Your thoughts, emotions, and sense of self are all managed by something called the Default Mode Network, DMN. Think of it as the brain's control center. It keeps your reality stable, filters out unnecessary noise, and makes sure you don't get overwhelmed by, well, everything. Let's say you ignore your better judgment and down a handful of these bad boys. Within about 30 minutes, the psilocybin reaches your liver. And remember when I said psilocybin makes you trip? I kinda lied. Your body actually converts it into psilocin, which then rushes to your brain and starts messing with your serotonin receptors, especially one called 5-HT2A. That's the switch that flips your reality upside down. First, your DMN starts to break. This leads to ego dissolution, where you stop feeling like a separate person and more like you're melting into the universe. At the same time, your brain's communication lines go haywire. Normally, different regions have their own jobs, but under psilocin, everything starts talking to everything. Your visual cortex gets bombarded with signals from other parts of the brain, causing crazy hallucinations. The claustrum, the part of your brain that decides what's important, Usually, it filters out all the background noise so you can focus on, like, not walking into traffic. But on shrooms, that filter disappears. Every tiny detail suddenly seems big. The areas in your brain that track time start misfiring, so minutes can feel like hours, or whole hours can vanish. You might feel stuck in a loop, reliving the same moment over and over, or get hit with weird deja vu that makes no sense. And then there's synesthesia, when your senses start blending together. You might see sounds, taste colors, or feel music moving through your body. This happens because psilocin lets different sensory areas of your brain talk to each other when they normally wouldn't. After about four to six hours, it affects starts wearing off, but your brain doesn't just snap back to normal instantly. Instead, it enters a state of increased neuroplasticity, meaning it's more flexible and open to forming new connections. That's why some people feel more creative or emotionally refreshed after a trip. So yeah, psilocin doesn't just give you cool visuals. It completely rewires how your brain experiences reality. But at the end of the day, it is illegal in most countries and shouldn't be taken.